Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So we're going to talk about the Chicago Bulls, man, because they are currently 6-10. and 10. They are 12th in the Eastern Conference. Uh, the Miami Heat are 11th. But uh, Chicago is one of those teams where, where it's like, I was expecting this. Um, I said this in my Eastern Conference standings video, uh, if you go check that out. Um, I said that Chicago would fall off this year, and they've done exactly that. Um, they are 12th, as I said, in the Eastern Conference, and they are a painfully average basketball team. Um, they're not good at pick and roll defense. They're they're just they're just a, 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 a average to below average basketball team, and I hate to say that because I feel like they have the talent to be a better team. Granted, they don't have Lonzo Ball. I understand that, but. They, their team just doesn't do anything super great, and in the stuff that they need to be doing better in, they're like bottom half of the league. I mean, it's for comparison, I mean, like just as an example, I guess, the Chicago Bulls shooting statistics are something that, that just leave a lot to be desired. Um, right now in three-point attempts per game, they are 29th out of 30 teams in the NBA at 28 and a half three-point attempts per game. They are 28th in the league at three-pointers made per game at just over 10, 10.1. And I think in a league where a lot of teams have shooting, a lot of teams have defense, uh, and the three-point shot is more relevant than it's ever been in history, you can't be a playoff team or a contending team and only shoot 28 and a half threes a game and only make 10 of them. You know, you just can't do that. And when you get into their effective field goal percentage, they are ranked 21st out of 30 teams. When it comes to two-point shooting percentage, they are 22nd in the NBA. Um, when it comes to their three-point percentage, they are 16th, which is average. It's not bad. It's not great. Um, but their free throw percentage is very good. But, you know, when I look at this team, the only thing they excel at is shooting free throws and getting defensive rebounds. They are average or below average in literally every other fucking category. I mean, points per game, they're 19th. Average score margin, they're 22nd. Fast break points a game, they are 16th. Points in the paint per game, they are 26th. They have nobody on this fucking team who can finish around the basket. I mean... It, you would think it would be DeMar DeRozan, right? Or even Nikola, Nikola Vucevic, but Vuce is only shooting 46% from the field. He's shooting 38% from three, which is great. You do need three shooting, but you need guys who are going to finish around the basket, and they are not even scoring around the basket, it feels. So points for, points in the paint per game, they're shoot, making 43 points per game in the paint, but that's good for 26th out of 30 teams in the NBA. Their assists per game are 24, basically 24 and a half. That's good enough for 16th. Total rebounds a game, they're ranked 25th. Assists per uh, assists per field goals made, they are 17th. And their assists to turnover is 24th. They are just painfully average to below average. And I just think to myself, you know, what can they do to fix this? Is this like a coaching thing? Partially. I think it is partially a coaching issue. Um... This is a team that I think could benefit from a coaching change. But then the other part of me is kind of like, well, DeMar DeRozan's 33. He's got two years. He's got this year and next year left on his contract. He's probably not coming back because you're not a competitive enough team. Um, this team needs shooting. They need to rebound the basketball more. They need to do a better job at playing defense. And not to mention, okay, I just want to bring this up. They are fucking horrendous at scoring in the first and fourth quarters. Um, in the first quarter for points per game, they are ranked 22nd out of 30 teams in the NBA at 27.4. But when it comes to the second and third quarters, they're almost in the top 10. I mean, in the second quarter for points per game, they are ranked 10th in the NBA at 28. 28.8. Third quarter, they are uh, ranked 11th at 29.1 points per game. And then in the fourth quarter, they just fucking fall apart. It seems like they only score 25 points per game in the fourth quarter, which is good for 26th out of 30 teams in the NBA. Um, rebounding, they're in like the early 20s. I mean, offensive rebounds per game, they're 19th. Defensive rebounds per game, they're 19th. Offensive rebounding percentage, they are 20th. Defensive rebounding percentage, they are 6th. Which, that's pretty good, but, you know, like I said, you can't win basketball games only shooting free throws and grabbing defensive rebounds if you're not converting on the other end of the floor. 
Um, when it comes to blocks a game, they average five and a half for the most part. I mean, so that's that's good enough for 11th. Their block percentage is actually pretty good at 6.4%, which is ranked ninth in the league. Um, when it comes to steals a game, they're pretty good, but they just give up a shit ton of points. And this is what I mean by, like, people think steals and blocks are what equate to a good defensive team. No, how good you stop teams from scoring the fucking basketball is what determines a good defensive team. And they're not very good at it, okay? they When it comes to defensive, their defensive metrics, right, they're just... They're, they're ranked right now, they're average, like I said, they're average, I think they're ranked 12th in the NBA in defense, I mean, like, it's not, that's not bad, you know what I'm saying, but it's not great either, the, yeah, they're currently ranked, their defensive rating is 12th out of 30 teams in the NBA, and opponents' points per game, they're also 12th out of 30 teams in the NBA, their pace is 14th out of 30, their offense is 21st out of 30, I mean, so I think it's safe to say that offense is easily their biggest issue, and, um, I'm of the impression they should probably... I, I don't think it's going to be before this trade deadline, but I have a feeling in the offseason, um, the Bulls are going to be exploring trades for probably everyone on their roster that's not named Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic. Um, I, I just feel like, you know, Lonzo, maybe, maybe they keep Lonzo, but I feel like they're going to try to trade DeMar DeRozan. I have a feeling they need to do a coaching change. Billy Donovan has never been my favorite head coach, if I'm being honest, and I never really liked Billy Donovan because I feel like his teams have always been, for like like what the Chicago Bulls are right now, just painfully fucking average or below average, so this is a team I do think, like, obviously with the Lakers, we now see it wasn't Frank Vogel, I, I would like to see the Chicago Bulls give Frank Vogel a shot. Um, just because, like, their pace, right, like, their, their pace is 14th out of 30 teams in the NBA, and Frank Vogel is going to emphasize defense and, you know, half-court offense, and I just think to myself, like, if this is a team that's not going to take threes, um, if they're struggling with finishing around the basket, if they're actually an okay defensive team, like, they're not amazing, but they're not horrible, maybe Frank Vogel can take this team and say, okay, you know, we're not... Our shooting threes is not our strength. Let's try to get some pick and roll stuff around the basket, um, and you know, work some half court offense in there and stuff like that. I don't know, man. I just feel like Frank Vogel got did dirty. But anyway, guys, that's what I think about the Chicago Bulls. I don't think they're making the playoffs. I feel like they're going to be a play in team. Maybe, maybe they won't be. I don't know. Um, but this is a team that needs a lot of help, and I just think. Maybe it's time they started considering other things. You know, Victor Wembanyama's coming up. Scoot Henderson's coming up. This is a pretty loaded draft class for the most part. Um, you know, if you could trade DeMar DeRozan and get two future firsts for him, you know, the first team that comes to my mind, obviously, is the Lakers, you know, trading uh, Russell Westbrook and two first-round picks for DeMar DeRozan or somebody. Um, you know, I, and not, on, not only that, but, like, it's obvious Chicago is going to have to get something for DeMar DeRozan, Right. And they can't just let him walk. And some team out there will take him. You know, he's he's good enough to 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 be that. But this is a team that I think needs to rebuild. Kobe White is fucking gone. I'm I'm just calling that. I don't think Kobe White's coming back. I know he's only played eight games for the Bulls, but he's been a painfully horrific shooter, if if I'm putting it lightly. So I don't know, man. I don't know what this team can really do to fix their their midi struggles, it seems like they're just a painfully mid-fucking basketball team, and I just don't know what they can do. So tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. Like helps me out, subscribe if you guys want to see more on the Fast Break Report, and I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.